Welcome back. It seems Disney's magic is not inexhaustible. The company's newest animated film, Elemental, facing one of the worst three-day opening weekends in its history. Even though last month the movie received a five-minute standing ovation at Cannes, but apparently that's short by Cannes clapping standards. Julia Borston <laughs> joins us live from Cannes, this time at the advertising conference, to talk more about this debacle. Julia, was this a movie meant more for adults than kids, fundamentally? No, this is a family film. Pixar films, though, have that typical appeal where they get kids and then the whole family goes. So that's why it was a disappointing weekend at the box office. Now, this is Elemental from Disney's Pixar. It did fall short of already lowered expectations. The film just grossed just $29.5 million, which is the lowest opening for a Pixar film when adjusted for an inflation. And it did cost a reported $200 million to make and about another $100 million to market. Now, this disappointing opening despite the movie getting a 75 percent positive critic score and a 92 percent positive audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. And critics are flagging that this is Pixar's third disappointment in a row. Now, it's not just Pixar under pressure. Another massive brand, Warner Brothers DC Comics, suffered the flop of The Flash. The movie which also cost a reported roughly $300 million between production and marketing costs, grossed some $55 million in its opening weekend debut, despite DC Comics, DC Studios co-chief James Gunn saying that it is one of the greatest superhero movies ever made. Now, there are, though there are a number of big-name franchise films coming up this summer, including Indiana Jones and Mission Impossible sequels, weakness in familiar brands, could mean that the box office will not return to pre-pandemic levels this summer, which is something that industry watchers, analysts, and of course, the theater chains were hoping for. One Tyler? of the greatest superhero movies ever made. Proving, Julia, that the hyperbole does live still in Hollywood, thank goodness. While we have you, let's talk a little bit about social media. Uh, it is a, both a, a hot sector of the market, but also a target as more and more people worry about the impact it could have uh, on teens. We talked about TikTok earlier today. Uh, in China, they limit the uh, number of hours that kids can be on social media per day. Uh, the CEO of Pinterest, uh, you talked to that person about uh, ways to make the internet safer. What did he say? Well, that's right, Tyler. Pinterest CEO Bill Reddy is here in Cannes. He's actually here for the first time, having become CEO of Pinterest just under a year ago. Right now, I'm on what they call Pinterest Pier. They are showcasing creative activity that happens on Pinterest. They're also promoting how this platform is different from its rivals because it is promoting positivity. They're showcasing their new inspired internet pledge, which is designed to make the internet a safer, safer place for teens by minimizing negativity. Take a listen. We really think you know, that advertisers are looking for more places where they can engage with users in a, in a place that is positive and not having these negative impacts on emotional well-being. So we think there's actually advertiser demand for this. Another key differentiator for Reddy and Pinterest as he fights for ad dollars with fast-growing rivals such as TikTok is Pinterest's partnership with Amazon, bringing third-party ads to the platform and also Pinterest's focus on shopping. More than half the users on Pinterest are there to shop. It is what the user came there to do. So the user's in a lean forward mode, looking to shop. People come to Pinterest to plan, to dream, to do, to make, to buy. So it is endemic to our platform. And so we're bringing more tools to help advertisers connect with what the user's already trying to do versus across the most, much of the rest of social media. Pinterest shares are up nearly 40% over the past 12 months, but up just 4% year to date, having fallen dramatically after reporting earnings and a disappointing outlook. So the pressure is on for the company and Bill Ready to close and more deals here in Cannes, and many of them perhaps will be deals that close on this beautiful beach. Kelly? I've been waiting five years for Pinterest to get more buyer friendly because my biggest frustration is when I see something I like there and then I can't find it. Maybe AI can help with that. Who knows in the future? Julia, thanks. Uh, enjoy it. Julia Borston.